So really here are the three R's of getting right with God. The three R's of having a spiritual revival personally. Number one, remember. Were things different before? Was your faith stronger before? Remember that, mark it. Number two, repent. Change your direction. Do a U-turn. Number three, repeat. Do the first works quickly. And notice that Jesus says, remember from where you have fallen. See, leaving one's first love is a way of falling. Let's illustrate with marriage. Okay, so I've been married 42 years. And by the way, uh, I, I've been married to at least seven different women. I've never shared that. <laughs> True story. Interestingly, all of these women I've been married to have the same name. And they even spell their name the same way. Kathy, C-A-T-H-E. See, Greg, are you losing your mind? As a matter of fact, I am. No. Uh, my point is that Kathy I married at age 18. That's how old she was when I married her. I was 60. It was weird. I know. No. I was 21. The Kathy I married at 18 is not the same Kathy I was married to at age 30. And she was not the same Kathy I was married to at age 40. I'll stop there. But my point is, she's changed. I've changed. We've changed together. But I can tell you our love for each other is stronger today than it's ever been at any time in our life. But that doesn't just happen by default. You have to be intentional about keeping your marriage strong. You need to be constantly trying to be, praying to be the best husband, the best wife you can possibly be. Because you know when we're taking a person out for the first time and, and we're getting to know them, we want to make the best impression so we dress ourselves well and we are very polite to men. You get married, you say, well, I don't have to do that anymore. No, actually, you still should. You still should keep the romance alive in your marriage. Okay, so now back to our relationship with God. Go back and do those first works quickly. Do those things you used to do. Remember from where you have fallen.